up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 22 online CFM game. We are now in week two of the 2021 season here in the Premier Madden League and we already have a dev story would you look at that and out of all the people to get a dev story Monte Nicholson is the man who is looking to step up to the plate. This guy was a free agent in week one. We signed him off the street to be one of our starting safeties against the Jacksonville Jaguars and now he has the opportunity to go from normal to star development. Sure, why not? So, I know what you guys are wondering. Did we get rid of Deshaun Watson? Do we have a new quarterback in town? Do we have a trade? I have an answer to one of those questions. Do we have a new quarterback in town? The answer is yes. And that man is Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow was out there in free agency. We brought him in. He's not going to start or anything, all right? Don't expect anything crazy from Tim Tebow, but he is here on the roster. Now, the other guy, Deshaun Watson, no trade has been done yet. Trade talks are still in the work. And like real life could carry on until the trade deadline, which is what week eight or week nine. So yeah, no Deshaun Watson news for now, but it can happen any week, any given day. Along with Tim Tebow, we also signed Gary and Connolly off the street to be a starter for us. Gary and Connolly, 78 overall, hasn't lived up to high expectations from draft night, but for our Houston Texans, we could plug him in and play him, I expect. So he'll start along with Bradley Roby and Desmond King. We are here at Rainy First Energy Stadium to take on the 0-1 Cleveland Browns. We are underway to see who can get their first win of the 2021 campaign. The Browns or the Texans. The Browns obviously have the team advantage over us, but we're going to hope to have the scheme advantage. Look to make some improvements from last week's loss against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but as we'd expect, the Cleveland Browns are going to try to keep it on the ground. That's a strength of their team, and a strength that can really stick out in these treacherous conditions. It's expected to rain all day long here in Cleveland, Ohio, as the Browns continue to keep it on the ground, and we'll finally see a pass attempt for Baker Mayfield holding underneath. He still goes to his running back, Nick Chubb. Not going to get too much. Third down and long, and they'll still keep it on the ground with Kareem Hunt, but Hunt can't get enough yards for the first down. It's fourth and three, and the offense is on the field. Play clock is winding down. Baker gets the snap off. Play action. Watch out. That's a pick. That's Justin Reed. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar. You will not get away with it. And here we go, starting off on offense and going to the rookie tight end, Brevin. Jordan. Brevin Jordan had a pretty decent NFL debut. He's looking to build on that. Speaking of rookies, that's Nico Collins. He gets by Delpit and he gets out of bounds. Both feet in. What a play by Nico Collins. Second down. Here's Mark Ingram looking to make some space in the middle but not quick enough to really accelerate so now it's third down and four Tebow's in the game he's gonna hand off to Lindsey but Lindsey nowhere to go Jadavion Clowney blows that run up and our promising drive ends in three points and we're already seeing a glaring issue with our offense and that is red zone efficiency it just, when the field tightens up, we really need our O-line to step up. We really need our running backs to step up or just have a, a red zone like type threat. We have none of those on this team and that's creating a major issue as the Browns continue this run first, run second, run third approach here. Nick Chubb already seven rushes, making number eight. Chubb with some space. Nick Chubb nearly falling forward for the first down. So here's Baker Mayfield underneath. Whoa, that was nearly picked. Gary and Conley nearly got an INT right there. Instead, it's third down in. Two. Baker gets to lose the play. Another down, and Mayfield's going to take off. He's going to take the first down and an unnecessary hit along the way. But nonetheless, once again, drive stays alive, and the Browns keep on clicking. That should be the end of the first quarter unless they get one more snap off. They go no huddle, and here's Mayfield. Poise looking left side, and that's going to be caught by Nijoku. Oh, so many near misses for our Texans defense. Instead, drive stays alive, and the Browns seemingly in invincible on this drive. Baker on the run hitting Odell. Here's Kareem Hunt actually. He nearly gets the touchdown. At least he gets the first down. Now Chubb back into the game. Chubb trying to muscle his way in. One yard out. Are the Cleveland Browns. Second down and goal. Baker cashes in on the QB sneak. And like I said, we were so close, man. We were so close, but you know, that is our Houston Texans. We don't exactly have the defenders that can make those standout plays. 
we just got to be disciplined. We need all 11 guys working at the same time to make plays happen instead of having one of those superstars do something special like Miles Garrett on the defensive end for the Cleveland Browns. He'll be a problem all day long as Philip Lindsay trying to do his thing. And you see Garrett's mainly lined up against Marcus Cannon instead of our star left tackle, Laramie Tunsil. So we're definitely going to make sure Tunsil has a good game because he has to deal with Clowney. And then Marcus Cannon will probably send him some help along the way. Like, don't let him go one-on-one -on -one against Gary. So we end up going three and out there. Unfortunately, Davis Mills misses an open man. What are you going to do about that? Wide open out the backfield on the Texas route and just straight up misses David Johnson. But Baker Mayfield, a sympathy bad throw, I suppose. He'll <laughs> miss Anthony Schwartz, the rookie speedster, out of bounds. Here's Mayfield on third and eight. Holding, holding, and throwing away. Mayfield running seemingly into the contained defense, and that'll be a punt by the Cleveland Browns. So, you know, I like the way we're playing defense, not just in this game. So far this season, it's just that it's hard to play great defense, right? And as far as offense goes, I mean, that's our number one guy, Brandon Cooks. We need to find ways to get him the ball. We didn't do a good enough job of getting Cooks involved in week one. We need to get number 13 more touches as third down, shovel option. Lindsey's got it, and Lindsey's got the first down. Spinning for more yardage. Lindsey in the open field. Look how big Jadavion Clowney is compared to Lindsey as the Browns. The blitz is picked up. Open, it's Brevin Jordan with some space to run. Jordan watching the Browns all fall down. Brevin Jordan Jordan's first career NFL touchdown comes in rainy Cleveland after the Browns slip and slide. Jordan keeping his balance, getting the touchdown, and I believe this is our first outright lead of the series with our Houston Texans. We had the game tied, I believe, against the Jaguars, but ultimately never let it. But here we are with a chance to win the game against the Cleveland Browns. Now, obviously, it's early second quarter. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Let's not even say that we can win the game because the key word is Baker Mayfield playing with fire and nearly connecting with Austin Hooper. The key word today is improvement. It doesn't have to be a win. We just need to improve from last week's game against Jacksonville. And if we improve, I'll be happy. And plus, we have Monte Nicholson's dev story to worry about, as well as Kareem Hunt, who nearly gets the first down, but will be called inches short of moving the chains. Browns offense on the field from their own 36. Play clock winding down once again. Fake snap. Here we go. Baker handing off. It's Chubb, who is swallowed up. No first down. And our Texans take over in fantastic field position. Here's Brandon Cooks trying to get sticky with it. Cooks will get the first down. Davis Mills is solid. Four for six passing so far. One of those misses was just straight up missing an open man as that'll be an easy completion as we do the jet sweep to Nico Collins and the big wide receiver rookie out of Michigan battling for the first down. We've got it before we go to the two minute warning. Our right or one of our guards Titus Howard is injured so we'll keep an eye on his injury status as Lindsay gets the carry once again. Philip Lindsay and one more time our red zone offense lacking as we try to run the ball try to pound it we just don't have the players anywhere for that so on third down we go to David Johnson and Johnson not going to get too much Browns called their final timeout and for the second time this game we will trot out Kaimi Fairbairn in the red zone he is cash a six point lead but you know those missed opportunities will slowly add up if we are not careful so here's Felton on the return dangerous man in the open field but thankfully Zach Cunningham is there to corral him so two minute drill here but the Browns have no timeout so you know especially given you know the conditions of this game we want to try to force the Browns into a mistake or if anything just make them go conservative into halftime is Mayfield that's the mistake we wanted Justin Reed is there again pick number two of the half already as Davis Mills watch out down he goes Malik Jackson the veteran gets the pressure second down and 14 clock is running no timeout this is not exactly field goal range so we need Mills to connect but not quite like that that's a gain of a generous half a yard I suppose clock is running 18 seconds left five wide good blocks David Johnson making moves Johnson gives himself up will not get the first down won't even try but mission accomplished there all we really needed to do was get into field goal range and we definitely done that for Kaimi Fair and Bear didn't want to make a huge mistake there we had an opportunity to get three so we'll line up Fair Bear for the third time in this game but this is sketchy and it's not even close it's no good and we come up empty missed opportunity one more time as we go to the halftime show. 
Welcome to the halftime show. We two's NFC South battle between the Falcons and the Bucks was definitely the game of the week because of the aerial attacks put on by Matt Ryan and Tom Brady. Or maybe it was the lack of defense. I'm not quite sure, but let's check it out. Tight ends doing work early. First, Kyle Pitts, Gronk right back at you. Oh my! Right before the end of the first half, Mike Evans, 70. Five yards. Can anybody get a stop? Not yet. Falcons down by 17, but they're not out of this one at all. Cordero Patterson turned loose, and let's finally see some defense. Not only is it a pick, this man's about to walk in for six, and the Falcons are sniffing a come-from-behind victory. But Tom Brady continues to light up the Falcons' defense time and time again. Get off of me, says Godwin. He'll get the touchdown. Brady went for over five 100 passing yards in this one but would it be enough to get the victory because the defense every time they scored they gave up seven right back Cordell Patterson who is guarding him not quite sure Antonio Brown that's a dime from Tom Brady business was booming at the end of the day for Tampa Bay Brown with the third down conversion with a minute remaining that finally puts this one to bed the Bucks win 40 or 52 to 49 as we check out the rest of the league action newcomer K-Mac taking over the Denver Broncos high expectations but he dropped week one and he's in danger of losing two in a row with the Broncos because the Jaguars looking to make the comeback fourth down and two they've got the league and they get the stop here's Drew Locke oh no two Broncos in one spot a recipe for disaster Judy and Sutton collide neither of them get the football and neither of them will get a victory as Jaguars 2-0 meanwhile in this big AFC East battle we have the Buffalo Bills put this one on ice Devin Singletary he'll get away despite the heroics of Xavier and Howard the Bills move to 2 and 0 oh. meanwhile can I introduce you to Isaiah Rogers first things first on the punt return great stick work following his blocks he'll go in for six but can you score in a way that's not on a punt return how about a kick return Isaiah Rogers can you do that once again blocks the line and Rogers is gonna turn on the burners what a game he's having can you score in a way that's not special teams though, Isaiah? Oh, you play defense too? You can get an interception and you can take it back for a touchdown? Okay, okay, what a game. Surely that's never been done in NFL history. Three touchdowns on a kick return, a punt return, and a pick six. Wow, as we check out CD Lamb getting a CD TD, but LA getting a victory on the back of Austin Eckler. That's gonna be the Chargers' first dub of the season. Patrick Mahomes has a cannon. Miko Hardman, he can turn on the Jets. That was a devastating combination against the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday night football. Here's Mahomes once again unleashing and Hardman turn loose. Too easy. Chiefs with the victory. Mahomes, five passing touchdowns on the day. You want to talk about elite quarterbacks? Aaron Rodgers. He's not going to miss that one. Even in the rain, Marquez Valdez scaling in. Packers win big against their rival, the Lions. Downfield, oh, we love speed. We love rugs. And the Raiders love winning. They do nothing but win so far this season. Meanwhile, the Tennessee Titans looking to follow that mantra with A.J. Brown shifting the open field. Titans are going to get the dub. Seahawks fall to 0-2. The Philadelphia Eagles getting sticky with Miles Sanders getting icky with Miles Sanders and getting a dub on the back of Miles Sanders. Here's David Montgomery out the backfield right before the end of the first half. Montgomery, too tough for you. Chicago gets the dub. And finally, check out the route by Terry McLaurin. Oh my, that was filthy. And that's going to lead to a dub, a big day for Scary Terry as Washington goes to 2-0. and oh. And just like that, we are back with the second half of Texans versus Browns. I suppose 2-0-1 teams playing like they are 0-1. Our Texans had a great opportunity need to leak ahead in this game, but we are only up by six. At least we get the ball to start the second half. Lindsay's lost the ball. Picked up by the rookie second round pick out of Notre Dame. Jeremiah Owusu Camaro for the touchdown for what could be the lead. It is the lead. That kick is good. And the Browns suddenly find themselves on top. And that's exactly what we did and what we left the door open for the Browns to capitalize on a mistake or just a good drive by them. And that was a major mistake. A major mistake by a running back with a 99 carrying rating, by the way. Philip Lindsay has a 99 carrying rating. And he just fumbled the ball, costing us 
majorly in this game, and now we have to battle back from behind. And these conditions not exactly suited for the former Stanford Cardinal, Davis Mills. You see Jock is all over the field. He'll chop Brandon Cooks down low. Here's David Johnson avoiding a tackler. Johnson trying to get that first down, but not quite. Third down and two upcoming. That's a man in motion. We won't give it to him. Instead, it's David Johnson who is stood up and will not get the first down. All we needed the battle from Johnson is, I believe Mark Ingram is in the game on fourth down and inches. We're not going to give it to him. We're going to look to pass the ball from our own 44. Davis Mills, watch out! Wide open! Jordan's got it! Wow! A hole in the coverage, and Jordan takes advantage! Brevin Jordan, touchdown number two! What? A play, Davis Mills launching it with the pressure in his grill. A good enough pass gets it done. David Johnson, two-point conversion. Once again, David Johnson, no battle in him. If we're going to have a power back on this team, it has to be David Johnson or Mark Ingram. And really, neither of those guys are stepping up to the table. So that is a bit of an issue. But for now, what a play on fourth and inches. The Browns definitely would have blown coverage there. Almost missed out on that opportunity. But the last second, you know, read progressions. The last read was Brevin Jordan. I was like, shoot, he's wide open. I don't know if Davis Mills can get it there. Thankfully, he did. That is a catch. But surprisingly, not a first down. On third and five, Anthony Schwartz gets four and a half. And... This is definitely a fake. Kareem Hunt is there. I'm expecting the fake. It is a fake. Here's Kareem Hunt. He bounces outside. He easily gets the first down and a lot more after that. The whole time I was sitting there thinking there's no way he's actually punting the ball. It's probably a fake. Then I saw Kareem Hunt was the up man. Definitely a fake. And, well, we still didn't stop it. I didn't really know what to do about it besides call a timeout. And I didn't really want to burn a timeout because we are already down one timeout right now. Third down and six. Here's Baker in the corner. That's Hooper. Got the catch. Gets by Conley. And Hooper is free. He has an escort as he dives in for six. And the Browns retake the lead. The action is starting to get hot and heavy here at First Energy Stadium. Two-point conversion to make it a three-point game. Here's Baker Mayfield looking to pass. And middle of the field. That's going to be picked off by Zach. Cunningham looking to run it back for a two-point conversion. Cunningham eventually surrounded by a number of Browns offensive linemen, but for now we get the stand to keep it a one-point game. That was a tough play right there because the man we signed off the street, Gary and Connolly, he's had a couple of good plays for us, nearly got a pick. That was a not-so-good play, just a complete misplay of the ball by Conway that cost us a lot, cost us dearly. Because, you know, we've been doing a good job of doing bend but don't break defenses. Uh, Mills, that was a good miss right there. This might be a bad hit, but it's actually a catch by Chris Conley. Denzel Ward in the area. Oh, but couldn't make the play. I'll tell you who's making the play, Malik Jackson. That was... A borderline penalty right there for going low on the quarterback, but the referees seemingly turn a blind eye to it. And after David Johnson uh, sloppily gets out of bounds, losing a yard, it's now third and 18. The standout rookie jock is injured. He's not on the field for this play. Mills has time. Oh, not anymore. Tack McKinley spills Davis Mills. Jock should be okay, but... Our chances of winning seemingly slipping away and not just because this ball is so slippery. We are starting to lose touch with this game. The Browns are starting to gain the momentum in this one. We kept it close as long as we could, but I don't know how many more standout plays we've got in our back pocket. The defense starting to show some major holes, but we might be getting a lucky break here. This may be getting called back, and it is. The second year tackle Jedrick Willis called for the offensive holding. That negates a good rush by Kareem Hunt, and on the next play it's picked off that's Bradley Roby with a lane Baker to beat and he's in Bradley Roby got you right back spikes it in the second defensive touchdown of this second half and now one more time a two-point conversion this time to make it a full seven-point lead it's Davis Mills looking to pass got a man wide open getting down it's Nico Collins as we have another injury to our offensive line Titus Howard ended up being okay but Sharping Sharpling, I'm not sure. We'll have to check that one out. Offensive line, uh, yeah, not going to stand that one. That is, I believe, our starting right guard who's listed as a left guard. And he's like a 72 overall. Our backup may be like a 65. So, yeah, 
Uh, our offensive line already wasn't good. It might be getting even worse as Baker play action to start the fourth quarter on the move. Trying to locate Odell, but Baker's starting to get sloppy with his ball placement as this game goes on as the field conditions seemingly get worse with the rain continuing to pour as Kareem Hunt is actually going to lose a yard or two there and no huddle on third down by the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield keys to the car looking to pass. He'll have the time, but he's having anyone open. He rolls, he throws, he fires his hunt, but that's behind the line out of bounds. Fourth and three. The Browns have been aggressive on fourth down. Their offense on the field from their own 44. Late in the play caught. They get the snap. Here's Baker. Time running out. Got his man wide open. Odell Beckham Jr. We've kept Odell pretty in check so far this game, but the fourth quarter is money time, and Odell is looking to cash out. Here's Baker. Once Odell, once again, but that's going to be picked off. Bradley Roby, once again, he's got it for the second drive in a row on the run back. Roby trying to make something special happen. He's eventually swarmed and brought down at our own 24-yard line as we come out in the Wildcat. Phillip Lindsay, direct snap up the middle, and what a game Malik Jackson is having. He makes the tackle one more time second down missing ah oh, davis mills that was open that was nico collins didn't give him a chance to try to make the catch third down oh that was perfect ball placement glitchy ball placement finding brandon cooks what a play next play davis mills watch out ball is out and mills doesn't scoop it jackson's got it it was Clowney on the sack and it's jackson in for the touchdown but a flag on the play on the second year safety, Grant Delpit, a backbreaker, will bring it back, illegal contact, and we dodge a major bullet. So the drive's still going, second and 13, RPO, but Connolly runs up field on what should have been a bubble. So just complete miscommunication there. Now it's third down and 13. Davis Mills going, tight window, got it. David Johnson, and that was a pass that Mills missed earlier in the game. David Johnson on the Texas route. We got it this time, and David Johnson is suddenly starting to show some life in this fourth quarter. We give it to Lindsey, looking for the first down. Every first down, oh, so critical. As we look to chew clock, and as we get more yardage, try to get this to a two-possession lead, whether it's with a field goal or a touchdown. We continue to keep it on the ground, but that's going to stop the clock, and that's Miles Garrett, that's a big name. We'll see how he fares, but he's not on the field right now as we run a screen pass. Phillip Lindsay, or at least it should have been a screen. No one blocking, but Lindsay still able to get four, maybe five yards. Here's Davis Mills on third down. He's got some time, and he's got David Johnson for the first down. Johnson spun out of bounds, but what a conversion. David Johnson once again, and that was without Miles Garrett on the field, but Garrett should be back, but... Once again, offensive line injury. This is our backup right tackle, I believe. We are, we are an absolute mess on the offensive line, and we keep on stopping the clock with these injury timeouts as we dump it down to Lindsay. That's inbounds. Christian is okay. I suppose that's okay news, but right now we really need this third down conversion, barely getting the snap off. Here's Mills floating for Jordan. Oh, attacking the rookie, Greg Newsome. Jordan looked like he had some space, but Mills didn't get it to him. Oh, and Fairbairn doesn't get it through the uprights no good with 311 remaining oh no Kaimi Fairbairn is struggling and we might be leaving the door a bit too open the Browns might slam it wide open and take advantage this is the money drive for Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb with over two minutes remaining it's Kareem Hunt trying to do his dance but not getting too many yardage going too much east to west still got five on the play though fantastic blocking by that old line so they'll go right back to the run whoa Monte Nicholson making a statement in bounds that means the clock is running third and three from their own 40 yard line here are the Cleveland Browns in the shotgun looking to pass Baker Mayfield oh dropped had it in Hunt's hands out the backfield but Kareem Hunt with a pivotal drop fourth down and three gotta go for it here the Browns at their own 40 Baker he'll have the ball Baker he'll have the time Baker at his man but he missed him and it's Desmond King taunting flying looking to fly the distance and he's in Desmond King wow Baker Mayfield had his tight end Austin Hooper but simply missed the throw when it was time to come up clutch Baker Mayfield missed opportunity and thankfully not a miss for once from Kaimi Fairbairn that is up that is good Fairbairn's lack of efficiency in this bad weather had put us in the position where you know we missed a couple of field goals kept the game close but 
I mean, our defense, I said, I didn't know how many standout plays we had left in us. Seemed like we had a couple more. Oh, got away with one there. Bradley Roby absolutely smoked by Schwartz, but uh, Baker is simply falling apart. Ball in the air, and that could have easily been picked. That was Gary and Conley. Oh, Conley's having quite the day up and down roller coaster. Whoa, that's going to be caught. Jacob Martin in coverage, not able to make a play. Austin Hooper gets the first down and an injury timeout. These injury timeouts prolong the game, and that takes away our second of three timeouts. That was Neville Hewitt. Here's Baker Mayfield. Look at the time he has. The three-man rush, nowhere home. Baker to Odell over Nicholson's head. Odell in the open field, making moves all the way to the 14-yard line with the Browns still having all three to timeouts. They're going to go no huddle, preserve those timeouts, try to find the end zone. Here's Baker Mayfield. Quick pass, and that was nearly picked off by Cam Kruger Hill. Second down and 10 from the 14-yard line. Here's Baker Mayfield rearing, throwing. Odell, one more time. He's got the touchdown. Odell coming to life, but it isn't too little, too late. We'll have to see. First things first, here's the PAT to make it a seven-point game. Then we'll see how the Browns go onside kick. Oh, no! The PAT is no good. Now they'll definitely go onside kick here with 29 seconds left. Here's Gillian looking to line it up. Straight line drive and picked off by Chris Conley, who goes accidentally airborne. So we can't kneel the ball yet. Browns still have all their timeouts. Oh, we just got to try to run a couple of seconds on each running play that we have. Philip Lindsay losing four yards. Not exactly what we were looking for. So we go back to Philip Lindsay on second down, looking to cut it inside. But the Browns defense is standing strong. Wrong. Third down, we'll definitely have to keep it on the ground again, right? Right, man in motion. Yeah, we'll keep it on the ground with Philip Lindsay. to this be conservative. Lindsay nearly getting the first down. Guess this isn't the field goal range, but Kaimi Fairbairn has been very just inconsistent. So I'm fourth down to 40. Offense is on the field, and we're actually going to go for it here. Davis Mills gets the ball and calls game. Rookie to rookie connection. It's Nico Collins getting the grab, and that will be do it the Houston Texans will walk out victorious absolutely drenched but that is the stain of winning success oh my our Houston Texans have found the way to win on the road even when it looked like we were trying to give the game away we still made the plays at the end of the day what a weird and wacky game it looked like for a second that we were in big trouble especially you know, when the Browns were running the ball every single play early on, I thought, man, I don't know if we got an answer for that. I don't know if we have the manpower to stop this. But we really tightened up in the second half. We forced Baker Mayfield to try to beat us. And Baker Mayfield really ultimately lost the game for the Cleveland Browns because at the end of the day, we had a pretty conservative offensive game plan. It was just don't make mistakes, right? Let the other team try to make mistakes in this kind of game and these kind of conditions. And uh, Baker Mayfield seemingly gave the game away in the second half, had like three or four interceptions. Interceptions. He had the pick six to Bradley Roby, uh, pick six to Desmond King. So, yeah, we scored 34 points and, you know, how many that was defense. But at the same time, you know, we had all the opportunities to not even be in that position. Lindsey's fumble really hurt. Um, the missed field goals, but, you know, it's it's improvement. It's improvement, and we still got a lot of improving to do, clearly. Even though we won this game, we can't be too satisfied about it. We just got to go back to the drawing board. So we have an injury to our one of our starting offensive linemen. He's out for the next month. Christian Kirksey, he got injured week one, so he's still injured. But Monte Nicholson, by the way, he got this death story. Not because he made a play, because he did not make a play. It was because we held the Browns to under 200 passing yards. And you may have noticed, Baker Mayfield had exactly 200 passing yards, but the game counts passing as team passing yards. And if you get sacked, that's negative passing yards. So we sacked Baker Mayfield once for like a loss of six. So the Browns ended up having, I believe, 194 passing yards. And that was barely... By the skin of his teeth, good enough for Monte Nicholson to go from normal to star. So, I mean, hey, we'll take that. We'll take the win. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was definitely one that will get your heart racing. But, um, thankfully, we uh, finally got ourselves a dub here. So, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more Man 21 gameplays. And I will catch you guys next time, next week, for the Carolina Panthers. It was like on Thursday Night Football. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys for that one. Thank you, as always, for watching.